Following the great deluge, Noah's flood, the Anunnaki divided the earth into four regions. One was the Indus Valley. In this entry, we explore the Anunnaki connection into ancient India. The, the Indus Valley region was awarded to Inanna, Enlil's daughter, after she had persisted in clamoring for a kingdom of her own. And that's why I put the picture of the Indian goddess Kali, because it's... Uh, uh, Enlil uh, definitely um, it, it, they're, they're saying it basically that the Sumerian gods can basically be a, the, the the Indian gods just like they, the Sumerian gods are the Roman gods just like the Sumerian gods are the Greek gods just like the Sumerian gods are the Egypt gods they just transferred in time um, so they're saying that she most likely uh, resembles Shiva. So here, here we go. Here's the article. Um, the Indus Valley region was awarded to Inanna. Ancient Indo and Aryan civilization in the Vedic literature from the ancient India is considered one of the most ancient in the world and is held in high regard in the Hindu religion. In these ancient Indian texts that re references to awesome flying machines or vimana and devastating weapons of the gods can be found. In, the, in light of the elaborate descriptions of the advanced technology and warfare depicted in the ancient Sanskrit texts in ancient India, the argument has been made that these are in fact references that can be linked to the Anunnaki activity in the area and the division of the earth into realms by the Anunnaki according to Sumerian record. The Ramayana and the Mahabharata are the most important epic Hindu poems. In the Ramayana, a war between ancient Indian King Rama and the King of Kli Ceylon is chronicled, while it's the Mahabharata serves as a record of the history of Hinduism and its moral laws. The epics describe details of wars between the gods from fierce nuclear type of weapons or iron missiles, two advanced aerial machines which are referred to as Vimana. According to historians like Kisari Mohan Ganguly, the Hindu epics contain descriptions that can only be compared to that of Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic explosions which caused massive casualties and symptoms of radiation poisoning such as hair and nail follicles falling out, all which are described in detail in the Indian epics. In addition, the excavations in the ancient cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro uncovered a large amount of unburied skeletons and poses that suggested a horrific and sudden death. The destruction of the Rama Empire by a nuclear war is also evidenced by a considerable strata of radioactive ash found in the area around Rajasthan, which may be a trace of evidence of nuclear events in the past. The presence of advanced technology in a form of nuclear weapons and flying machines of Vermont is dating back thousands of years would not be surprising if the possibility that the Indus Valley region formed by the Anunnaki realms under Inanna is recorded in the Sumerian texts is considered. In addition, the wars depicted in the Hindu epics are reminiscent exactly of the ongoing Anunnaki war in between Enki and Enlil in the Pyramid Wars. Now, if you guys remember, if you look at my uh, previous videos, we did the first Pyramid War and the second Pyramid War on my channel here. Um, you can go back and look at those. One's the Egyptian Pyramid War and then the second one's the Sumerian War. Anyway, supported by Enlil was the Inanna's refusal to return stolen... Oh, wait. Hold on. The Sumerian records express, expressly link the second Empire word with Inanna's attempts to develop the Indus Valley Kingdom under her control by stealing the information or templates she needed to do so called MEs from Anki after a night of debauched drunken sex. The MEs were tablets encoded with the information required to build and maintain a civilization such as guidelines and plans for temple construction. Supported by Enlil, it was Inanna's refusal to return the stolen MEs that Enki sparked the Second Pyramid War. Thus, the wars of the gods recorded in the ancient Indian text may be a reference to a Second Pyramid War. The Anunnaki connection also becomes more apparent when one considers that the Hindu pantheon of the gods was a possibly a make of the Sumerian pantheon under different names. For instance, the Hindu god Kali may actually be Inanna and Shiva can be paralleled with Enlil. 
while it's one cannot conclude with absolute certainty that the Hindu epics are actually about the Anunnaki, the chronology, technology, and relationship to the Sumerian accounts of Anunnaki activity in the Indus Valley following the Great Deluge makes possibility worthy of consideration and further examination. The Anunnaki ancient astronaut theory continues to provoke interest and debate, a question of our origins and whether the historical timeline of civilization provided by the current historical paradigm is correct. Zachary Sitchin contributed to and perhaps sparked this debate, and his research is detailed in the best-selling Earth Chronicles series, which I found and I have. It's called Wars of Gods and Men. That's what a lot of these have been doing. Like the first Pyramid War I did, the second Pyramid War I did, and this one. They've all been from Sitchin's Wars of Gods and Men. It's an excellent book. You should get it. All right. Uh, that'll be that for this time, and I hope you guys uh, liked the video.